All right, so in today's episode, we're gonna be making a cauliflower pizza crust, homemade, and the inspiration behind that was watching the Netflix series Chef. If you've never watched it, you should check it out. Also, the movie is really great too. Just take a head of cauliflower, the florets, your cheese grater, and shred. Easy peasy. Once I do all that, I am going to take paper towel and pretty much squeeze out the excess water that's in the cauliflower. Uh, Cheesecloth would be more preferable here, but we use what we have, so. And I'm gonna transfer all my cauliflower here into a skillet, medium. Find your parchment paper and your pizza pan. And the parchment paper is gonna help the crust by not sticking to the bottom. Preheated, got our parchment paper. Once the cauliflower is done in the skillet, we're gonna transfer that to the parchment paper. We're gonna transfer it back to the mixing bowl. Two eggs, Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna mix that all together. And then what we'll do, take this mixing bowl and pour it all out onto this parchment paper. And you're gonna form whatever type of crust you like, whether that be a circle, a rectangle. We're just gonna fit the lay of the pan, so it's a rectangle. I'm gonna stir my cauliflower. All right, so now the cauliflower is done. I'm just going to transfer it back over here in this mixing bowl. And you want to let this cool for a couple minutes before you add in the egg and the Parmesan cheese. I'm going to taste test this Parmesan cheese, make sure it's good. All right, and I'm gonna crack an egg with one hand. I've been practicing it lately. No shells in that one, that's good. No shells in that one. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna take my cheese. I really eyeball all my measurements, so this whole bag might work, right? Just guessing as we go, right? Trial and error. And I'm gonna mix this all up. And once this is all mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this onto my pan with the parchment paper. So that's what it looks like all mixed up. And this part here is where you mold that crust into whichever shape you're achieving. Like I mentioned, I'm just doing the shape of the pan as it already is in a rectangle. We're just gonna press, hold down, press. Just pat down the corners. And I would recommend, since I'm doing this for the first time, that everything is evenly distributed. You don't want one side to be all caked up with your cauliflower crust and then the other side thin. Just move your fingers around, pat down, make sure everything is together. You can't wait. 
wait to try this at the end. Well, this is what it looks like. And now I'm just gonna put it in the oven. And you wanna put it in there for about 15, 20 minutes. The corners turn golden brown. So I'll check back on it in like five, seven minutes and see how we're doing. while that is baking uh, this would be a good time to prep all your vegetables that you want on your pizza uh, we're just using some basic pizza sauce I'm gonna get some seasoning like some basil oregano uh, salt and pepper of course we have Brussels sprouts and asparagus the mozzarella pearls the balls and red onion I also found capers my favorite so we're definitely gonna add those to the pizza and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep up all our vegetables. I already had the Brussels and asparagus, asparagus cooking, so I'll set that aside. And we'll return in a few minutes. All right, so our cauliflower crust is about done, so I'm gonna take that out, and then it's time to put on our topping. show you what the crust looks like. Bubbly, brown. Let this cool for maybe five minutes or so before you put on your pizza sauce and your toppings. So we'll do that. So once that pizza crust, you know, cooks for 10-15 minutes, you take it back out, let it sit for about five minutes or so. And then you apply your toppings on. And then we put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes or until everything looks like it's melty and gooey, ooey, yum. Take it back out. So with the back of the spoon, we're just evenly just distributing the sauce throughout the pizza. Basil is the last step. Rip that apart, shred it. Pro tip, I see bartenders do this. I'm sure it's the same for cooking. You take your little bushel of basil, slap it so the aromas release out. I'm gonna put it back in the oven for about 10 more minutes or until everything melts. This is what our pizza looks like. Done, cool down, and the moment of truth. Mm. It's really good. And the crust holds together, it doesn't fall apart. That's good. Mmm, muy delicioso. There you have it, cauliflower crust pizza.